This is something interesting regarding Apple and artificial intelligence or Apple intelligence and how they they are rolling out Apple intelligence, right? So Apple will bring GPT-5 to Apple Intelligence in iOS, iPad OS, and Mac OS 26. OpenAI's model will still be optional for Apple device users. So it looks like Apple is behind. I feel like it's Apple's behind on the in, on the AI artificial intelligence game, and now has to kind of jump on board with. GPT or OpenAI in order to kind of be relevant. Obviously, Apple, the iPhone is the preferred device for most uh, people. But it's lacking the ability to have its own build in-house AI machine, right? So if if OpenAI or the or GPT-5 or let's say like Google Gemini are the top dogs right now. So Google Gemini, I think, is probably the top of the top, number one, for all kinds of tasks, tasks in, in the AI model. So research imagery video prompting all that stuff i think google gemini is at the top and then uh, gpt5 which is just released would be coming in at a close second with all its you know all its other stuff but apple and apple intelligence is almost like it's not really from apple it's coming from it's going to be coming from gpt5 which We got to see how it it kind of works here, especially on the new on the new iPhone 17 coming out. So let's see. OpenAI finally released its long-awaited GPT-5 model this week, surprisingly, unsurprisingly, proclaiming it is at its best yet with regards to coding, accuracy, safety, and more. Sam Altman even compared the jump up in quality to when the iPhone first adopted a Retina display in a press briefing ahead of the announcement. And given GPT's integration with Apple Intelligence, you might be wondering when the latest model will arrive on the devices that support it. The answer is sooner rather than later. So it's got to be coming out for for iPhone, the iPhone 17 now coming up in September, scheduled for September uh, with the iOS 26. I mean, it's going to have to be integrated and and then i'm guessing we're going to be seeing a a full-blown integration of app of of apple intelligence backed by open ai's chat gpt or gpt5 as you can see it they're starting to remove chat from gpt it's more it's more like now a gpt5 and g and so forth by the way the the naming conventions for all these ai platforms are, are just they need a designer for that. So currently, ChatGPT or GPT-5 will be an, an optional add-on to Apple's own AI model. Which can be accessed by Siri when you're making a request to Apple Intelligence on, on its own might not be able to handle. With Apple using the, ex the example of questions about photos and documents... GPT also integrates with camera control in your iPhone's camera app to learn more about your environment. And if you connect with your GPT account, you can save your requests in your personal history. So it's kind of funky, you know, it's like kind of this weird mix, mix and match between Apple and chat GPT. Siri was supposed to be the GPT for Apple, and it looks like it's not really um, working out. 
Um, another thing is, um, you know, GPT has a subscription. It says here it's uh, GPT-5 is free for everyone, but you can go heavier on some of the stuff and includes like some of the add-ons uh, from $20 per month on the plus subscription or 200 per month for the pro plan which offers unlimited use and the question is will will the gpt5 on the apple intelligence be uh free for the i guess the basic or will it include more of like a a plus or a pro model which is which would be kind of paid outside of apple but will apple pay the subscriptions for 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 people that own a, the the apple phone and can waive the subscription the monthly subscription so we're gonna have to see we're gonna have to see and see how it works because you get the feeling like it's not going to really work like everybody thinks it is it's almost like i feel like the apple intelligence will will give you some kind of exit uh when you start requesting stuff on gpt and that's not going to be a good user experience so we'll see what happens in time